It is just now starting to get cold in South of Texas. It's about upper 40s. I'm freezing. Um, <laughs> but I love when this weather starts coming in because that means it's soup for dinner. My name is Vanessa and I have two of my favorite soup recipes. Well, I say my favorite. I love soup. Soup and salad, if I could get away with it with my children, which I can't, I would make that several times a week during this time of year when it's nice and cold, when it's in the 40s and 30s, which it doesn't really get that cold here in South Texas, but Today the high is like 47 and it's pretty chilly, so it's a perfect weather for soup for dinner. So let me get into these two of my favorites during the winter time that are sure to fill you up and get you nice and warm. We are going to start our soups with this easy and comforting ham and potato soup. This is a definitely a thicker version of some that I have made in the past. Um, this one is great for when the weather is just a tad more chilly. So for this recipe, I have two large russet potatoes. I already peeled them and diced them. You're also going to need your ham. So I picked up this eight ounce package of mini cubed ham. Now I'm going to tell you guys when to add the ham for this recipe. However, I'm having mine on the side. I'm gonna cook it on the side, and that way everybody in my family can decide if they want ham in their soup or not, because my oldest is not eating meat. Um, so I don't want to go ahead and cook it in the soup and her not be able to enjoy potato soup. So I just wanted to make sure you guys saw that ham is really good with this recipe. However, ours is going to be on the side. So you're also going to want half a cup of diced celery, half a cup of diced onion, four cups, which ends up being two cans of chicken broth, five tablespoons of butter. Right here, this is a quarter cup and then an additional tablespoon of flour. Then we've got two cups of milk and salt and pepper to taste. So first we are going to add our potatoes, celery, onion, if you want to cook your ham with your soup, now is when you would add your ham. And both cans of chicken broth. I am going to turn this on high, just until it comes to a low boil, and then I'm going to cook it on medium heat, so I'll turn it down to about six, if yours is numbered, your stovetop is numbered like mine. I'm gonna turn it down to about six, and cook it um, for 10 to 15 minutes, just until all the veggies are fork tender, so until I can really easily pierce these potatoes um, with a fork. This is lightly boiling, so while that is going, I am going to start on the roux. So first, I've got my butter in my saucepan and I'm going to get this melted. Butter is melted, and now we are going to add our flour. And I'm gonna leave the heat on and I'm going to whisk this, stirring constantly until the flour is golden. It should take just about a minute. Okay, the flour is completely mixed into the butter. So now we're just going to take our milk and I'm just gonna add it a little bit at a time. Then I'm gonna stir this together, then I'll add some more, stir again, add the rest, um, and then cook this probably about five minutes. You just want it to really thicken up. It's already, see how it's thickening up? So let's add some more. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna stir it until it starts to thicken, and then I'll just add the rest of the milk. Doesn't take too long. All right, I can already feel it starting to thicken up. So I'm going to pour the rest of the milk in. And just continue on. Like I said, about five minutes total, so maybe four more minutes until this whole pot or all this liquid is pretty thick. 
Okay, my potatoes are definitely a fork tender and my roux is nice and thick. Look at that, it almost looks like Alfredo. Yum. So we are just going to add this into the potato soup. Stir that up. Mix it up really good. So this part is completely optional. If you guys like your potato soup chunky, add some salt and pepper and you're good to go. I, however, like mine a little mashed up. So I'm gonna use my masher here. I actually got this at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to mash my potatoes. Not all of them. I don't want them to be completely mashed, but I do like a more creamier potato soup, like I said, when the weather is on the colder side. So I'm just going to mash my potatoes up. Now I'm going to salt and pepper to taste. Stir it one more time, and your soup is done and ready to serve. This soup is a pretty easy, and again, one that I just love to have in the winter time. So I don't even know where I originally found this one from. Um, it had some other things in it, but I kind of just changed it to what works for my family. I have used or cooked this with um, not the stewed tomatoes, but tomato sauce instead, making it more of a soupy um, and less thick soup. So both ways are really good, but this is the one that I'm gonna show you guys today because this was, was because this was the original um, change that I made, but I, I change things up all the time in my recipes, but this one I've made several times and I really, really like it. So this is everything you're going to need. Back here I have four cans of Italian recipe stewed tomatoes. I am going to chop the tomatoes. I'm not going to leave them whole. Two cans of beef broth. I'm going to use pepper to taste. I am going to add some basil. I'm going to cut this basil though, not just put the basil leaves in. One zucchini that I'm going to half and then thinly slice. I'm going to use this whole package of tortellini. I'm just using cheese tortellini. You can use whatever tortellini you want. And this is a 12 ounce bag. I'm also going to be using this entire bag of green beans. This is 12 ounces as well. I am going to cut these in halves, maybe even thirds, depending on how long they are. I just want them to be, you know, a little bite size, not too big. And then I'm also going to use a whole pound of Italian sausage. So on my recipe here, this is the original recipe, um, it says to use like three quarter pound green beans and then three quarter pound ground Italian sausage. I don't. I don't do that. <laughs> I just use the whole bag and the whole pound and go from there. So first up, we're going to get our canned tomatoes and the beef broth, pepper, and the basil, however much basil you want. Let's see, I've got two larger leaves and then two medium leaves here that I'm going to chop up. So we're gonna put all of this into a pot and we're going to let it start cooking. We want it to come to a boil. So let me get all this stuff in here. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a little tip real quick. So I used to, whenever I would need stewed tomatoes, but I didn't want them as thick or chunky as they come in the can, um, I used to try to pull them out and chop them on a cutting board, and then I'm like, what the heck? I have kitchen scissors. So I just use, and I mean, make sure your scissors are clean. I wash these, but I just use my scissors and just chop up the tomatoes in here because I do still want all this liquid. So I'm just going to cut up my tomatoes, just a little tip. Makes things faster, less messy. Cut up my tomatoes, because again, I do not want them as big as they are in here. And then I don't have any chopping to do. See, look at that. Awesome. These are just stuck together, but they're all chopped up fairly small. Now I just gotta do the other three cans. Okay, so once you have the tomatoes, the broth, the basil, and the pepper in your pot, you're going to bring that to a boil. While that is heating up, I am going to cook my Italian sausage completely, brown it all up, and then we will move on from there. Once your soup is boiling, I turned it down to about medium high, and I'm going to add the Italian sausage, and the zucchini and green beans as well as the tortellini. And I'm going to stir this all up. 
and let it cook for eight to 10 minutes, however long, just, or just until the tortellini is done. You don't want it to be too soft because then it's just gonna start falling apart. Okay, it is all done. Oh, I cannot wait to dive in. Like I said, this is one of my favorite soups and I do change it up. So this one is definitely more thick. If you don't, if you want it to be more soupy, don't use the stewed tomatoes, use tomato sauce and tomato paste and make your own kind of marinara sauce. But, oh, so good, I love it. I always top it with a little fresh shaved Parmesan. So I hope you guys enjoy this soup recipe as much as I do. All right, so what did you guys think of those? I have so many different variations of potato soup. I make it so many different ways, but this one, I love how thick and creamy it is. It's one of my favorites. Like I said, during the colder months, I have a lighter one that I like during the summer months, and then that tortellini soup is so versatile. You can use almost any kind of tomato base that you want. I've made it several different ways. I like this version that I'm sharing with you guys today the best for, again, the colder months. It's just more of a thicker soup, um, and I don't know what it is about the variations during like a spring and winter and summer and all of that, but it's really good. I hope you guys enjoy them. If you have a favorite soup, let me know down below because like I said, I love soup and salads and I like to try new ones. So let me know your favorite soup down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.